Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The interface in Word 2019 and Word for Office 365 is like the interface in previous versions of Word. New users of the program, as with any program, should start by familiarizing themselves with the working environment. You should start by learning the names and locations of the tools you need to create Word documents. The first object to examine is the ribbon that appears at the top of the application window. This tool is where you can find all of the tabs, button groups, and commands available to use within the Word program. Note that we will examine using this tool and other tools within the interface within separate lessons in this chapter. You also need to familiarize yourself with the File tab in the upper left corner of the ribbon. Clicking this tab in the ribbon opens the backstage view of your document. This view lets you access the most common file functions like creating a new document, saving documents, and printing. Above the ribbon is the Quick Access Toolbar. You can easily add buttons to this toolbar for the commands you use most frequently and always want available. This is the only toolbar available in Word. Several important buttons already appear here. Autosave, if saving files to OneDrive or SharePoint. Save, Undo, and Redo or Repeat. You can easily remove any buttons you add to this toolbar too. At the top of the window, the name of the current document that you have open appears. This appears to the right of the Quick Access Toolbar in an area known as the Title Bar. Below all the tools, the current document appears. This is where you create the actual content of the document. You do most of the actual work in Word in the Document window. At the right side of the document is a vertical scroll bar. You may also see a horizontal scroll bar at the bottom of your document if your document is wide or if you zoom in on the document. You can use the vertical scroll bar to scroll up and down through your document. You can use the horizontal scroll bar, if shown, to scroll left and right across the document. Speaking of zooming the document, you can easily zoom in to increase the document's magnification, or zoom out to decrease the magnification by using the zoom slider in the lower right corner of the window. Also, to the left of that, you can see the various document view buttons that let you switch the view of your document as needed. Now that we have an overview of the major screen elements, where they appear by default and what they are called, we can now look at the general use and functionality of the various on-screen elements within the Word application. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.